not appropriate given that under current California law, the department's investigation into the use of deadly force is a confidential personnel matter, and the details of the investigation cannot be discussed publicly. Concurrently, there is an investigation into the potential criminal culpability of the involved officer or officers by the Los Angeles County District Attorney. This commission will ultimately determine if department policy was adhered to, and the Los Angeles County District Attorney will determine if any criminal culpability exists by the involved officer or officer. What is appropriate at this time is to express my and my fellow commissioners concerns regarding these officer-involved shootings. There's a delicate balance between our knowledge and understanding the dangers our officers face every day while serving our city, and the need to clearly have our officers understand and practice a preservation of life philosophy as they encounter members of our community. With that said, I want to assure everyone that this commission understands our responsibility to provide civilian oversight of the Los Angeles Police Department and, with the assistance of our Inspector General, are provided regular <coughs> updates on the status of all use of deadly force investigation. At the Commission meeting on September 22, 2015, Deputy Chief Bill Murphy provided the Commission and public with an overview of current and anticipated training. He spoke about the following four areas of training, public trust and preservation of life, constitutional policing, handling persons suspected of being mentally ill, and use of force de-escalation techniques. It is important that we ensure our officers are provided with the very best training to enable them to respond appropriately to the dangerous and difficult situations they encounter. Chief Pacinger, could you tell us what the status of that training is and the anticipated completion date? Uh, yes, um, uh, Mr. Commissioner, uh, I'd like to start off by, uh, by saying first that <coughs> excuse me, I appreciate the, um, the enormous amount of work being done on this, uh, on this effort by Assistant Chief Mike Moore and also Deputy Chief uh, Bill Murphy. This is a uh, fairly significant effort on the part of the department to recalibrate and frankly be the third manner with which the department has been uh, providing this, uh, this very specialized training to, to every uh, sworn member of the LAPD. Um, I'd like, like to offer very quickly a quick update on the training that will address uh, those four uh, uh, areas uh, that Deputy Chief Murphy mentioned last week. First of all, the national discussion on building public trust. Um, at the direction of the Chief of Police, um, just about 85% or 8,400 members uh, of the LAPD have already uh, participated in that training. Um, there's about a thousand, actually about 1,300 members of the organization that have yet to attend the training and a makeup course uh, will be uh, convened in the not too distant future. Um, the total number of LAPD employees that will be involved in that training ultimately, ultimately will be uh, 10,030, which will also include uh, reserve officers. Uh, following that, coming up in the latter part of October, actually October 26th and 27th, uh, we designed a train the trainer course for a 10 hour use of force uh, update. Uh, the pilot will roll out on October 29th and the rollout for the entire training will begin on November 9th of this year. Um, the police science leadership course, uh, the train the trainer uh, dimension of that course will begin also on October 29th through, um, I believe it's a week long uh, period of time. Uh, the pilot will begin on November 9th, and it will run through November 19th, that 10-day period, with a rollout for the rest of the organization on January 12th through January 22nd of the year 2016. Uh, the mental health intervention training, uh, you should know that the LAPD has been at the forefront of mental health intervention training. As a matter of fact, many organizations throughout um, the, not only the region, but throughout the United States, have looked to the LAPD as a model for that training. As a matter of fact, we, we participated uh, in the district, district attorney's uh, committee, uh, whereby we have shared a lot of our training techniques uh, and our course material with the district attorney as she rolls it out uh, throughout the rest of the county. Um, the mental health intervention training will be incorporated into the PSL and be given to all probationary officers the second week of their training in the field. 
Uh, it was actually initiated about 10 months ago with 25 students per class. Uh, the department has already achieved 98% uh, department-wide compliance on post-mental health illness training, uh, online training course. Uh, additionally, the field training officer course, um, along with uh, um, Deputy Chief Murphy, uh, Assistant Chief Mike Moore, they're currently involved in rewriting the eight hours of curriculum to include use of force and de-escalation, constitutional policing, <coughs> building public trust, and handling persons suspected of being mentally ill. Uh, the target is the first quarter of 2016. Um, and at this point, uh, I'd just like to ask the Assistant Chief Moore, is there anything else that you would like to offer at this point? Um, like I mentioned at the top of the, um, the presentation, Mr. Commissioner, uh, the, the organization has, um, we are expressed in terms of ensuring that the department is at the forefront of providing the training to every single sworn member of this organization. Um, and we've been largely successful uh, to this point in um, the to any questions you may. Great, thank you very much. Um, and Mr. Bustamante, I assume that your office is, uh, is continuing to oversee and monitor these investigations. Do we have any public uh, comment? I have a, I have a comment. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I too um, am, am sorry to hear that there have been four officer involved shootings since September. Um, but I, uh, I would like to say that I think that the public can help with this. Stop pointing guns at officers. Stop uh, pointing knives or lunging at officers. <coughs> Stop um, attacking officers. And I think that uh, our officer involved shootings will go way down. And I think that it's really important. I'm speaking now. Everybody is suicidal, huh, Steve? <laughs> we all fucking suicidal. Please stop disrupting me. Nah, yeah, we're we're fucking 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 we didn't need me. What are you talking about? You're off agenda. You went off agenda. <laughs> so, um, as you said, I am concerned and I am um, uh, convinced that uh, in a thorough investigation process, will occur in each of those four officer involved shootings. But I am equally concerned um, about our officers, about what they do day in, day out, and this general feeling that um, that it's okay to, uh, to be uh, um, abusive to police officers because it is not. I never met nobody in my life that is. Commissioner, Commissioner Softman, do you have, a, do you have an additional comment? Thank you, just a, just a brief comment. I just wanted to say that uh, I appreciate your opening statement very much. Uh, I agree with it completely. I think you have uh, appropriately at least described the very delicate and sensitive balance uh, that goes into these situations into our role in particular uh, representing the public in evaluating the actions and I also particularly appreciate your asking the department to remind us and the public about the training that's going on because I do think it's significant and the offices and the department's efforts uh, along with the inspector general to evaluate the training and make sure that it's effective and if it's not to improve it. Uh, and so I thank you very much. Uh, so is Dale Jones. For President Jones, and I also um, want to thank you for your earlier comments. Um, it, it is a delicate analysis, Commissioner Saltzman. Just, just reinforced. Uh, we, I think the, the objective of your comments was to emphasize that, um, that we as a commission take use of force cases very seriously. And um, officer involved shootings, that especially ones that um, result in the death of civilians, those we take very seriously. 
and um, we do our best to scrutinize those those reports and um, adjudicate those cases very thoroughly. And we benefit from the investigation of both the department and the inspector general. Also, any insight, um, any criminal investigation that might be occurring um, with the with the with the district attorney's office. Um, I do want to say that just as just as it is important for the public to reserve. Um, Reserve some judgment until we hear all the facts. Um, it is also uh, it is also important for us and, and the department and officers within the department to reserve judgment before we receive all, all the facts. Um, I think that these are very very sensitive and traumatic cases. Um, that any case that results in death it, um, has tremendous traumatic impact on the community, on the family and friends of the deceased, and um, and the the family and friends and the officers involved, the officers involved and the officers involved. Um, again, we, we take this very seriously. We take deaths in the community very seriously. And, um, and uh, just as we want to encourage the public not to make any um, assumptions until we, until we review all the facts and everything is open and openly disclosed, um, we hold ourselves to that same standard. We're not going to <coughs> jump to any conclusions about whether or not that um, that civilian who 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 was the who resulted in unfortunate death um, did anything to have provoked um, the officer's conduct. You know, we're, we're we're not going to assume that 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 civilian did anything to provoke the officer's conduct. <coughs> Yes, sir. We have six comment cards. I will call all six at once. Prentice Jenkins, Ted Hayes, Karen Elfman, Pastor Q. Jabari, Jasmine Abdullah, and Marina Abdullah. Uh, Prentice Jenkins, 